Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Nylon Music and to something completely brand new, which is the Black Star ID Core V3. So it's been a couple of years since the V2 came out. It is now upgraded to the V3. So showing you the top panel just there, we still have the sort of amp models that you would have seen before. So you still have your sort of two clean channels, bright and warm, uh, two different crunch channels, two different overdrive channels. They've all been sort of revoiced, modernized, as have the 12 different effects as well, the stereo effects, they've all been redone as well. So this little amplifier is very, very sort of feature packed for the kind of modern use that these amps serve kind of thing. So this entire amp can be used as a, an audio interface for your computer. Obviously you can plug it into your computer much like with the Silverline stuff and change all the patches. You can do online patch sharing as well. So if you don't want to mess around, you can just kind of download something that someone else has made and give it a go. Um, there is also, like you may have seen with the acoustic amp, which will be coming up on the channel shortly, there is a live stream function too. So you plug in a TRRS cable into there and your phone, and you can do an entire live stream performance using the sort of cab simulation and the, you know, the, the amp tones and everything of this amp. So you won't have that kind of shrill phone mic thing, it will be a full, you know, sort of CD quality signal for your live stream. So that's, you know, a really kind of handy feature. They still do the 10 watt, 20 watt and 40 watt versions. And this one that you're gonna to see today is the 20 watt, which also has the foot switch option as well. I don't have the foot switch with me today, but if that's something you guys are interested in seeing on video, and actually I wouldn't mind having a go with it with a foot switch as well, um, then let me know in the comments. So just quickly then to show you the panel across the top and what the controls do, just in case you're not familiar. So you have this section here, this is controlling what amp you have as a base really. So you have a warm clean, a bright clean, a crunch, super crunch, OD1 and OD2. So from super crunch to OD1 and OD2, they're all sort of that classic high gain sort of sound, but different sort of flavors of it. And then you've got your overall gain, well, overall level just here, which is like, yeah, your sort of gain of the amplifier. This, it acts as the sort of overall volume of the amplifier itself. Um, I didn't really get it past sort of, you know, 10 o'clock about time because it's plenty loud enough for home use. And then the ISF dial, which is now sort of synonymous with the Black Star lineup. But basically the further this way it is, the further towards 10, it sort of, puts a very bass heavy emphasis on the amp tone, whatever selection you have. And the further to zero it is, it's a much more brighter sort of sound. So I found that no matter what, the amp tended to be happiest around this sort of 10 to 12 o'clock range, but that was just me personally. And then you have all your different effects sort of settings here from modulation delay and reverbs, and you control the different types of those and the amounts with these two knobs. You have a tap tempo for the delay as well. Here is the USB lead to use it as an interface or to connect up to the software. And you also have the presets as well. So when this button is unlit, that is when you're in the preset modes. If you press, if it's lit up, you are then in manual control. So hopefully, oh yeah, and I just might as well show you the other inputs as well. So stream in, line in is just there. That's your TRRS cable I mentioned before. TRRS, not TRS. The, um, this is your cab rig and phones out. So this will simulate um, a cab sound through the headphones if you're wanting to use headphones or send it as a line out as well. The guitar input there. And again, this being the 20 watt, you have the foot switch option as well, overall power. So yeah, stay tuned. And then I'll come back and tell you my thoughts on the amplifier. <laughs>
Once again guys so thank you for sticking out through the video now my thoughts on the id core v3 like i said it's a bit of a shame i couldn't get the software working um because like i said it's, it's just not been updated just yet but i can't imagine it will change drastically there the software type side of these kind of things are usually all the same once you know how to use one you kind of know how to use them all um now it does leave me to my only downside with this amplifier and that's that like I said, because it can be used as an audio interface and you plug it into your computer for your patches and stuff, they have gone for a micro USB cable in order to do that. Now, this is a brand new product and micro USB cables were stopped being used pretty much years ago at this point. It's all USB-C now. There's no reason not to use USB-C. Everything I have is USB-C. And... Unless you're the sort of person who has kept every USB lead for the last like 10 years on phones and cameras and you know all kinds of devices, um, you know, you're gonna have to go out and buy a very out of date lead to, to use that functionality part of this amp. Now it doesn't affect the amp at all, um, and to be fair, because you can do everything within the amp itself, you may never want to plug it in. But I just I just can't not not say. Do you, do you know what I mean? That that's a real sort of niggle for me because the amp is great and for a home practice amp you know the, what's available nowadays i mean just for a spot of context this amplifier the 20 watt version and the cutlass sub series you saw in the sound demos both together brand new would come in at around 500 pounds you know so for an advanced kind of you know to step on from a starter kit or if you're you know an adult starter or you just want something super sort of versatile nice quality to have at home i mean that's just an awesome little package and brilliant value for money so you know the main thing that this amp is supposed to do i would break it down into uh three sort of categories i guess i would say it has to be affordable uh it, you know it, it, although it's a modeling amp and there are plenty of kind of mid-range or higher modeling amps available this sort of this small little amp it does have to be affordable it ticks that box there are three different versions and they are all sort of you know they are all affordable amplifiers and second of all it has to sound and feel good while you play it and like once you, you know something that want, you actually want to plug into and play and again when you're sat in the room with this amp it's just a real laugh to play through because every sound you know you can imagine whether it's cleans whether it's ambience high gains it's all in here and it feels really nice to play through but most importantly it just has to be fun it has to be really quick and easy and fun to use and that is a hundred percent knocked out of the park with the id core v3 so hopefully you've enjoyed this video i've likely missed some things and if there are anything you know that you want to sort of ask me or comment below and any ideas you have a shoot out between this and the other versions or something just let me know and i'll be sure to sort of try and make that video possible and i just want to say as well in the sound demos i set the amp up on the floor just like it would be you know in someone's house it it's not in studio pristine environments that are going to make the amp even better i wanted to capture it in an environment that you as a buyer are likely to use it in so you know that's why the amp was just on the floor mic tap nothing done on the recording it's it sounds the way you will hear it when you play through it yourself so thank you very much for watching and i will see you again on the next video